Lawrence of Arabia has left a a legacy from his life that is far more enduring than what even Hollywood or anyone else has made us believe. You all know the story. You've probably all seen the very beautiful David Lean film, Lawrence of Arabia, with Omar Sharif and Peter O'Toole. And it tells the true story of, well, to a limited degree, of the Anglo-Irish aristocrat, T. E. Lawrence, I think his name, what his real name was, but Lawrence of Arabia, who took part as a British agent inside the Arab revolt against the Ottoman Turks during the First World War, in the Art historical period. Let me get at my Illuminati device here. Now, why is this guy so important? Well, the British aristocrats and the Anglo-American aristocrats have a bizarre fetish for the Arab royal, the Arabs, the Muslim Arabs, and the royalty, the royal Arabs. You saw that the relationship between the Bush family and the House of Saud, they're, they're, they're one of the same thing. There's almost a, an incestuous obsession that the Bushes have with these, uh, these guys wearing jam, jam rags on top of their... Well, not, jam, not those kind of jam rags, the jam rags you put on, jam jars, on top of their heads. You had in the 70s, the Mayfair set in, in the 80s in London, where you had wealthy Arabs, oil sheiks, uh, Ashran Gashogi, major arms dealer, that was Dodi Al-Fayed, and all those people, all these horrible people involved in arms dealing and weapons, all it, like that with the British aristocrats. You know that that, that yo-yo nickered slag Princess Diana was heavily involved with them. Where T.E. Lawrence, Lawrence of Arabia, is directly responsible for this, on top of the fact that he led these battles against the Ottoman Turks, he was also an insatiable pederast who had a particular taste uh, a connoisseur, a con an exquisite connoisseur taste for the sexual organs of young Arab boys. He kept Arab boys as sexual comfort units in the desert. He indulged in the, in the flesh of young Arab boys, the younger the better. And this was his obsession. His, his pederast and his obsession with the sexuality of young Arab boys it's the reason why we in the West are being subject to Islam and Jihad today. Because the obsession that the aristocrats have with the Arab is based on pederast and pedophilia. And this pederast and pedophilia and this sexual dysfunctionality of the, the, the Arab elite, the Arab, the, the Arab royalty, was embraced uh, with great delight by the aristocrats, both the Anglo-American, you know, the WASP aristocrats. And they are the ones who are turned on by all these. Why do you think we always see photographs of young Arab men getting off the boats and the refugee boats from Syria? These are all potential sex slaves for the communist aristocrats in Cambridge, both in the UK and in the USA, Harvard, Oxford. With all the Oxbridge crowd, they're looking at those pictures going, mm, he's nice. Ooh, young Muhammad there, I'd like to have him. I'd like to wash him down and bathe him. This is how they think. They're right down there, not all top universities and colleges and all the, the, the communist think tank platforms are flooding Europe with their sexual obsession. Young Arab boys. And it all goes back to Lawrence of Arabia. Now that's how sick the world you live, is, you live in is and has been made sick by the aristocrats in charge. That's who's running the show, and that's why your cities and towns are being subject to jihad. Aristocrats want young Arab boys.